Well, welcome once again to another edition of the Expansion Zone with Sonia Barrett. I am your host, Sonia Barrett, and thank you once again for joining me on this uh, wonderful Monday. And, you know, we say wonderful and terrific Monday, <laughs> regardless of, of how we may feel that day. The, the Monday arrived, and that's all we know. Each day arrives, and so it's terrific no matter what's going on. And, um, of course, you join me every Monday uh, on KPFK 90.7 FM, and uh, some people may be listening on the internet, so it's streaming live at kpfk.org. So wishing you the best day possible. So today's quote, lead right into this. You are one thing only. You are a divine being, an all-powerful creation. You are a deity in jeans and a t-shirt, and within you dwells the infinite wisdom of the ages and the sacred creative force of all that is, will be, and ever was. Love that quote. And, and this would, was uh, this is a quote by Anton St. Martin. And uh, it's, it's just a really great reminder. So today's topic is really going to be about the Tao calligraphy healing field exper and ex experience the power. And our guest is Dr. and Master uh, Ji Gong Sha. He is a Tao Grand Master, healer, teacher, author, and master of Chinese calligraphy. So this is going to be a really interesting and fascinating talk today as we explore uh, just an, an area that we haven't talked about before. So I'm excited about that. And that and this is the uh, calligraphy the, the aspect of it um, that Dr. Shaw, uh, Master Shaw is going to share. Uh, all right, so real quickly in terms of the quote, I think that uh, it is just really an incredible uh, reminder. I think it brings this simplicity again of everything, yet at the same time, there's a powerful aspect to it. It reminds us that, yeah, we're walking around in our jeans and our t-shirts and, and just our lives, but we forget that we are the deity. And what is what is the definition of that? It's a god or goddess or divine status or quality of or, or nature. But anyway, the bottom line is that here we are. And I think the quote says it all. Uh, so today, keep this realization in mind, I think, as you go about your day or as you go about your week, remembering that you're walking around in your clothes and your jeans and your t-shirts and, and all of that, but ultimately what you really are. Uh, and that is a really powerful um, reminder. So, all right, so we're gonna read a bit of the bio of our guest today. Master Shaw is a Tao Grand Master, healer, teacher, and author of over 25 books, including 11 New York bestsellers. He has an MD degree in Western medicine from China and is also a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine and acupuncture. Master Shah has combined the essence of Western medicine with ancient wisdom to create soul, mind, body medicine and Tao teachings to help humanity. He's a grand master of several Asian arts and in uh, 2002 was named Qigong Master of the Year at the Fifth World Congress on Qigong. With the creation of Tao calligraphy, he received the highest honors uh, a Chinese calligrapher can receive, being appointed to the position of National Chinese Calligrapher Master, as well as Honorable Researcher Professor by the State Ethic Academy of Painting in Beijing in Beijing, <clears throat> excuse me, China. Master Shaw founded the Tao Academy to share Tao uh, wisdom and practices through classes, workshops, retreats, and training programs. So we'll get, we're just really delighted to say, welcome Master Shaw. So happy to have you here on the Expansion Zone. Thank you so much. It's my great honor to serve. Thank you again. Oh, thank you. 
Well, you know, I, there's just so much to explore with you. Uh, but I think what I'm always fascinated with uh, is when individuals, when we, when beings like yourself come onto the planet and you find your calling very young in life, something sort of triggers that. And I think in your case, it sounds like you, what you saw with, with health and, and maybe some suffering at the same time and at the, you know, also witnessing methods, uh, practices that probably assisted in healing. So can you tell us a little bit about uh, that journey? Thank you. When I was at age six, my parents brought me to the park. I saw a Tai Chi, people know Chinese Tai Chi, slow movement. Uh, and uh, a grandmaster taught his few disciples. They do pushing hands practice. Master and the disciple made circles, hand, touching hand. The master used a little strength. The disciple poo, flew out for 15 feet away. Whoa, out. Then I run to the master. I said, yeah, 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 yeah. In Chinese, yeah, yeah means grandfather. You know, I'm the tiny guy, six years old. So I said, yeah, yeah, I want to learn this. I want to learn, learn this. Because I saw the power. I didn't know too much. And the grandmaster looked at me for a while. No, you are too young. <laughs> the tiny guy. I said, no, 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 no. I said, no, no, no. I said, yeah, 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 yeah. I want to learn this. And I was show my confidence, I want to do this. And he said, I want to see your parents. I run to my parents, I bring my parents. My parents give me a great support. I start at the journey at age six. Every Saturday, Sunday, I spend two to five hours to learn the Tai Chi. I want to give example, for example, one action, the feet is very wide. The teacher standing there, do not move. You know, five minutes is okay. A little longer, you feel tired on the leg. Then the half hour, you almost offended. The master, mm, standing there, do not say anything. So <laughs> therefore you have to bury. Uh, so therefore in such age, I was trained by the persistent, by the, uh, the strong, uh, you, know, you know, all kind of qualities. So that's age six. At age 10, I learned the Qigong. Some people know Qigong, some people may not. Qigong means, uh, qi means energy, gong means uh, practice. Qigong means uh, meditation. At age 12, I studied the Shaolin Kung Fu, boxing, sticks. Then one story just now, Sonia mentioned, uh, is, uh, you know, when I was about 13 years old, I saw a woman uh, beside the street. <laughs> so difficult <clears throat> breathing. I, I came to her, I said, auntie, what happened to you? She said, I have a heart issue. I have asthma. And I, summertime, I saw her leg swollen. I said, have you seen the doctor? Yes, I saw the doctor. Have you taken medicine? Yes. How is the result? Not too much. Huh? So I, I saw her sufferings in my heart. I said, I wish I'm the doctor. I wish I can do something for, for her. Uh, that is my compassion the heart. Also, plus I, I saw my relatives have heart issues, cancer issues. So in my child uh, hold, I felt maybe I, I, can be, I, I can be a good doctor in the future to help humanity. So therefore later, you know, I, I went to the medical college to become MD, to become a doctor of traditional Chinese medicine. And, and now, you know, I'm you know, a doctor background. But at the same time, because at the age six, Taiji, Qigong, uh, I study Yi Jing Feng Shui. People know Yi Jing Feng Shui. I combine with 5,000 years of ancient wisdom, energy and spiritual healing, and the essence of modern medicine, traditional Chinese medicine. I create a soul, mind, body medicine, which is a self-healing system. Now I train healers. I have trained thousands of spiritual healers. Now I'm the servant. I'm the teacher to teach self-healing and also training the healers. For example, one doctor of psychology and her sister suicide. 
Therefore, she felt so sad. She quit her job. She learned the psychology. So after becoming a psychology, uh, we made a documentary for her. She said that many depression, anxiety, suicidal, she still cannot deal because the psychology mainly is mind, a consciousness, mind over matter, mindfulness. I honor psychology. That when she studied with me, she realized depression, anxiety is a soul level. And she learned wisdom. She become the soul healer. Now she deal with hundreds of people with such a hard touching result. In one sentence, I position myself as a servant, teach self healing and as a teacher trainer to train the healers including her professionals that's my little background yeah <laughs> i <laughs> love it that is it's so wonderful because what stuck what what stands out is persistency your commitment to it um the your passion that you had for it when you when you saw this as a six-year-old you know children their attention spans are not really great so you had to be truly passionate about what you saw in order to to stick to it as a six-year-old child so wow that that says something now you also said something about the soul aspect and i i want to get into other things but I also remember uh, reading about this when I was preparing for um, for our talk. You said that the power of the mind is that that's amazing, but we also now need the soul over matter, the the soul power. And and I think that it would be great for you to just touch on that some because we don't really hear it talked about in in that sense we, we mainly just talk about the mind over matter um or the mind so could you just share a little bit with us please yeah i'm a delighted leon like slides so see these uh, slides if you are listening to the audio uh, there are i am sharing thank you sonia ancient wisdom universal law uh it's not American law, not the China law, not the Japan law. This is spiritual law. Shen, qi, jing, three words. Shen includes soul, heart, and mind. So psychology, uh, meditation, millions of people meditate, mind over matter, mindfulness, which means our consciousness can transform our, our life. So the second word is qi energy. The third word is jing. Uh, just now, uh, Sonia mentioned mind over matter is great. I believe next layer is the soul over matter. See the Tao science on the uh, on another side, and a quantum physics research, and I co-create the Tao science. Everybody know quantum physics, quantum science, quantum physics teach information so Tao science also teach information information means a message there are two sides information positive and the negative when you give love care compassion sincerity honesty and to yourself to others is a positive information heart is a receiver uh, mind is a processor. So therefore, when you give the positive information, people receive. For example, I receive a divine uh, spiritual song. I love my heart and soul. <laughs> I love all humanity. Join the heart and the souls together. Love, peace, and harmony love peace and harmony so this is a positive message when you feel oh everybody needs love say the baby mother are oh, crying baby feel better your friends depressed and give love everybody feel love in my teaching love melts all blockages so when you give the love and the heart receiver mind the process then the body feel better uh, for recovery but uh, see another line when you are angry, depressed, anxiety, fear, worry, uh, and uh, grief, many negative information 
which is low frequency, negative information. The heart receives negative information when you're upset, then the mind was more upset, then the body could suffer different sickness. So therefore, after my whole life study, Western medicine, traditional Chinese medicine, spiritual and energy healing, I have realized the root sickness is come from the information. The information also now even the quantum physics uh, prove more and more. The information uh, decides our life. Positive information, we bring the peace, harmony, success, good health. Negative information bring the sickness in the physical body, mental body, emotional body, spiritual body, relationship challenges, divorce, fighting, and financial challenges, and much more. So therefore, what is the healing? Healing is to bring heaven, earth, the source, positive information come to our life for health, relationship, finances, and more to remove the negative information. That's the true healing. So therefore, uh, this is a Shen Qi Jing universal law. Explain the relationship soul, heart, mind, body. So therefore, so is the boss. Heart houses mind and soul. Heart is a receiver and the mind is a processor. Therefore, the key is the soul level, information level. We need the positive. We remove negative information. Every aspect of life will follow. Oh, absolutely. That makes perfect sense. And when we, uh, when we remove that, that kind of um, low frequency information, we have no other choice but to change. We are going to change. Therefore, we are going to treat each other differently without trying to be a good person or not a good person. It just naturally, that, that becomes naturally who you are. I think that's what you're saying because you're free yes. yourself of those uh, negative, um, uh, what should I say, belief systems or low frequency belief systems. Yes, I agree with you. Uh, for example, people, something they make, some people make you upset. And uh, you know, some people make you sad. Something make you depressed, but the people stuck in this negative uh, information and energy. It cannot come out. So how do we transform? One sentence, let it go. You let the word, <laughs> let it go. Uh, if you're so so I, simple. I, <laughs> yeah, so simple, but people feel so difficult, let it go. So therefore we have the secret techniques. Dao calligraphy uh, is the source. Calligraphy is the art. And art can be seen, can be touched. But the Dao, uh, you know, the, that the wise man Lao Tzu, the author of Tao Te Ching, millions of people know Bible, millions of people know Tao Te Ching. Lao Tzu said, Tao is the ultimate creator. Tao cannot be seen, heard, and touched. Tao has no time, no space, no image, no shape. Uh, we have time and space. Uh, we have image, shape. Uh, can be said now we can talk hear each other so therefore we are in the existence world Tao is in the non-existent world so Tao calligraphy is to bring the non-existent which is a creators and love light frequency vibration to our realm to our body to our relationship finances the invisible non-existent exist in the Tao love light frequency vibration uh, carry the positive information coming to remove our blockading health relationship finances therefore Tao calligraphy have done 600 clinical case study with a uh, different uh, the liver cancer lung cancer brain cancer leukemia chronic pain uh, many many uh, conditions why we, we document 600 cases with a hospital, with a clinic, uh, very positive. It has presented to uh, more than 10 medical conferences because uh, we bring down invisible love light uh, the positive information coming, people practice, use the techniques I shared, then people feel better, 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 uh, amazing result. Wow, so, okay, so let's let's go back to the okay the calligraphy um aspect of it what 
how would you explain that then if somebody really wants to understand what happens um, with this uh, Tao calligraphy? How are they learning this Tao calligraphy? What is the process then of, you know, of learning this or of understanding this? If, if they came to you and um, wanted to be, you know, wanted to understand this, what, what does that look like? Perfect, perfect. Thank you so much for the wise question. Liang Fang Hui Chi, see this one. Uh, we have Dao De Da I calligraphy field. Dao, you know, Lao Tzu, Dao is ultimately the source of countless planets. Mother Earth is only one planet and the stars, galaxies, universes. We live in a solar system, Milky Way universes. But in fact, there are countless planets, stars, galaxies, universes, solar system, Milky Way and universes. Tao is ultimate source. Then Du means the action, speech, a thought of Tao. Du also is a nectar, amino acid, proteins, nectars, essential nutrient. We eat the fruit, we eat the vitamins, vegetables, but this is a, in the existing world, but the heaven, everybody, have you thought of, have you think about what God eat? What the Buddha saints eat? They eat the, they eat the heaven nectars. So therefore we are in a human realm. We do not access for the nectars, but we can if we go to meditate that we can a special practice. So Da means the greatest, I means love. In my teaching greatest love, means unconditional love. So Tao De Dai means the source of greatest unconditional love and the nutrients uh, to transform all life. Everybody see a, see a wall here, yeah, wall. So now this is the wall. Uh, this is my calligraphy wall. Uh, so now you ask me how people learn. Now I have the Facebook live show every Monday. Like you talk about how important the message you give just now at the beginning for the Monday. So every Monday, three to four, uh, uh, two to three, or uh, some go to find out in drshah.com. There are so many people I do live healing because in ancient words, if you want to know if a pear sweet, taste it if you want to know this really dark calligraphy carry the power i do not know experience it and uh, sonia can you give me five minutes let me do a short meditation five minutes yes. to serve all your audience how about that oh i love it thank you everybody thank you for the permission everybody put the one palm of course uh if you're driving a car I'd never do anything uh, if you are <laughs> at home <laughs> put the one palm on the navel Put the one palm on the heart, very important. Uh, heart is everything. Uh, all shoulder, all neck, all back, uh, any part, everybody have different part of challenges in the body. And then uh, how this is an uh, audio show, uh, you know, close eyes, uh, if you can. Uh, I'm driving a car, different story. Uh, and uh, relax everybody. Then we connect with the doctor with you now. Tao calligraphy uh, source uh, art. It can why write the Tao calligraphy exists in the world, art. But the Tao is invisible. Third eye even cannot see. Normal eye, the more we cannot see. But there are frequency, vibration, invisible power within. How I just connect. The Tao calligraphy healing field, now come to everybody. Uh, everybody ask one area. Sonia, anybody, I choose one area. Back, shoulder, kidneys, knee, leg. Uh, how? Five minutes to start. Tao calligraphy light comes to your area. Heart, kidney, knee, back. Uh, Vibrating, 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 feel mm. the calligraphy light vibrates in the areas. I call the calligraphy light of my heart. Everybody knows the my heart by the human being, but this is invisible. 
light put 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 vibrate in the area shoulder kidney vibrating 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 the light coming light a stars universal light tao kri gui fi light comes to everyone tao kri gui fi light comes to everyone vibrate 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 the light the light the light the light brighten 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 visualize the golden light two more minutes darkly greasy light golden light totally relax totally relax because when you relax your cell will absorb uh, the light much better think nothing just think light coming this positive love light frequency vibration remove our pain inflammation tumor cancer you know depression anxiety anger whatever uh, da, uh one more minute da calligraphy light comes to everyone remove the blockage bright bright half minutes silent uh, even this radio program uh, silent now everybody is a feel the frequency and the vibration because the radio program i just say a few words uh, total relax 20 seconds more light comes in the the calligraphy is like a portal it connects with the source like a portal spiritual portal energy coming coming again 10 seconds coming light bright 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 golden light golden light bright 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 coming five seconds one, two, three, four. How? How means perfect. Thank you for the opportunity. How? Thank you. <laughs> of course, I was I was participating and experiencing it. Well, I'm also a student of Qigong, so oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so I um, I love all of this, and I do. I know that my audience is also enjoying this experience as well. We are having a wonderful experience with my guest, Master Shah, and um, he is, has well shared with us about um, the Tao calligraphy. We've experienced this meditation, and I really do hope that, uh, you know, those of us who are out there listening, I was doing the meditation as well, that we will realize that truly there is a whole world of, of understanding. Yes, it's all science, it's all very profound, but there's a whole world that we can tap into um, to really shift our lives, especially during this time. So let's talk a bit about this particular time, because what you shared is so essential for people right now that they're going through uh, this, this stress and this fear and all of those things which are interfering with uh, a, a very big part, the heart. All the organs are important, but, but the heart, people are having heart attacks and, you know, the, all of the anxiety it, it attacks the heart, the lungs, you know, all of those areas. So what can you, what else can you add to um, tools that, that people could participate in at this time? Perfect. Uh, I have the book called Dog Calligraphy Healing Field. Uh, uh, this book, uh, uh, Dog Calligraphy Healing Field, and the information system with the six sacred adult techniques to empower you to heal and transform your life. Because this is a radio program. Uh, in this book, there's MR code. Then uh, just now, Sonia asked me, how do you do the healing? I have animation with the book because the audio show cannot show for you, but I teach you how to do that. Everybody inhale, no inhale, deep inhale, the abdomen expanded. We use the abdominal breathing. Inhale. Yeah. Then make a sound. Ah. 
A H R. So when you inhale, think light, uh, the universal light come to your lower abdomen. Then when you are the light from abdomen uh, to the heart, I radiate out. So and uh, Sonia, I'm going to put the one minute. Uh, you take a look. You use your language uh, because you are the host. You explain to people in Master Shah's book. I have this kind of admission that you can explain in your way. Yeah. Uh, you watch this. Uh, you can explain very well, very clear. But you, one more time, you can explain to people. Yeah. Uh, see, watch this. Uh, this is uh, how to do this practice. We'll show the video too. By uh, the no, way. no, I know, but it's okay. You, 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 you can inhale, abdomen uh... expand it. Ah, uh, yes, that's the way. Can you explain to people? That's it. That's it. Okay. Ah, uh, inhale. Ah, uh, inhale. Abdomen expanded. Then the light go to the heart. Radiate the three hundred sixty degrees. Okay, Sonia, can you explain to people? Yeah. Ah. Uh, well, I'm, which part do you want? You're doing a good job explaining it. This. It's very <laughs> okay. Good, good, good. Okay, so uh, so this is uh, in this book in the ancient uh, teaching, ah, uh, because Sonia asked me depression and anxiety, but the anger different sound, Shu for liver, and uh, the grief is uh, for lung, is uh, uh, then the kidney for fear is a tree. Uh, Spleen for worry is a who. This is a thousand years ago. People understand the sound of vibration. So in this book, uh, Dr. Liguifi Healing Field, I share the practical techniques. Like Sonia asked me, depression, anxiety, ah, uh, other, other emotion, negative, uh, low frequency. We have different way, practical way to deal with that. Yes, and this is so true um, because I have used some of these uh, tools. As a matter of fact, I did speak about some of this not uh, that long ago on the show uh, because I, I had a loved one that passed. So it, it helped me so much to release the grief and the sadness and, and, and the pain uh, making those sounds. And I think that one of the things that we must keep remembering is that, you know, everything it do, it does emit a frequency and it's it's sound on on some on some level it it's sound vibrations that we're dealing with am i right yes you are correct uh, because uh, this uh, in ancient wisdom liver physical liver and emotional body anger connected so heart depression anxiety springs worry and the lung is grief kidney is uh, is the fear we call five elements Wood, fire, earth, mental, water, liver, heart, spleen, lung, kidneys. So therefore, five elements is the key theory of traditional Chinese medicine for 5,000 years. So therefore, we learn this special song through the vibration, like Sonia said, a grave, uh, anything can release. This is called, I have the message. Uh, you know, Sonia have such, such a good message at the beginning. So my message for today, I have the power to heal myself. You have the power to heal yourself. Together, we have the power to heal the world. Absolutely, absolutely. And it, and that's what it is. We have to start with ourselves. <laughs> we can't get away <laughs> ourselves. No matter how we try to get away from ourselves, we, can, we just can't. We're always there. It's like, there we go. No matter what I do, here I am. Um, but, but, but anyway, so I, I just sort of have been asking questions, which everybody knows that's what I do. Uh, I don't really necessarily script anything. I, I just tune in according to what the conversation is, and then we just keep going from there. Uh, let's see, there was another thing that I really wanted to um, to, to uh, focus on. Oh, I don't see it right here. Uh, but I think that the, the key thing here, because I was also looking on your site, because I was fascinated by the calligraphy aspect of it um and and i guess it doesn't it's not really the same thing but the fact is that we were used to writing like scripting like everything is art 
you know, the movement of, of writing uh, is art. And I know that in our world, in the Western world, there's sort of even removed that to some degree from schools with kids writing, you know, script writing. I don't know if that's something that you can speak on. I, I you know, I don't know if there's something there that's missing in terms of um, our brain activity. There was something about scripting. I mean, it's different than calligraphy, but still there's something artistic about when we, when we write. Yes. Uh, so in fact, this is, uh, this is uh, hard to explain, uh, but you can see, uh, let me explain this audio show. For example, English from A to Z. Uh, this is how English words are formed. So Chinese language component, a uh, flat line, flat is called hung, and the vertical is shu, is a component. For example, da I love, uh, love is like this. Uh, is uh, I show up uh, uh, to the Sonia. It's the words, but uh, you ask me the the are artistic. Uh, it's meaning they are one, two, three, four, five, six, more, probably thirteen. Uh, components what is uh, the calligraphy is uh, the calligraphy is more than how to connect the word is when i write a calligraphy i connect with the source i ask a source put the invisible uh, love light within what here uh, i just like this uh, this is a uh, certain component i connect with the source when I write, they put a, a love light frequency within. Then when we do the research in New York for, thir for 47 pain conditions, they are not my student. They use a hand, they just follow up. Uh, in my book, Dr. Griffith back page, there's a da I, greatest love. People just, they do not learn how to write. It's different, uh, you have learned takes more time. You just uh, trace him. You follow the path because the invisible frequency within, and uh, you follow the path within a uh, three months research, a phenomenal result. And the people say, why, 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 why? Uh, why? Because the source has the invisible love light, high frequency stored in the art. So when you connect, that invisible light come to you. Like for example, how many people can see divine? How many people can see Buddha, can see the saint, Jesus, Mary, uh, Guan Yin, Buddha, uh, uh, holy saint. But if you connect with them, you feel great result, the same idea. Tao calligraphy, the power is hidden, just like this kind of saying to God. Uh, you connect, then it will help you. That is a spiritual wisdom. And so it's it's like a, it's like a, a well a code. I'm gonna I'm gonna use a little computer language, but that's, <laughs> yeah. but that's what it reminds me of. As as you form, um, as you form your tracing, you know, as you say in the book, just just the very movement of our hands anyway, we're moving around electrons uh, and doing all kinds of things. But it's like it's a code in in that particular calligraphy design yes i will see uh, uh there's a secret code secret vibration for example we have we have a uh, eight word this is eight song but this is uh, sacred code right. uh, when people Chan, uh, you can see like this, uh, and uh, people understand uh, seven energy chakras. Many people know this wisdom. So each chakra, uh, the first chakra is uh, above the, at the bottom of the lower abdomen. Is the sacred code is called hey, and the second is in third one is inside the navel, uh, called hung. Between the first one, the navel level is hung. A heart chakra in the chest is R. Through is she brings E, and above head is one. And the Kundalini area is U. 
So therefore, this eight chakra are in the book. If you cannot remember, does not matter. Hey, hong hong ah, si wong yo. Hey, hong hong ah, si wong yo. So this is the most important energy channel. When you keep doing this, ah, uh, for example, ah, uh, people ah, uh, for example here, ah, uh, you know, some people, for example, now COVID nineteen, ah, uh, lung infections. So therefore, lung the the the. Our protest area energy was blocked. So therefore, the where is the key? The key is on the neck. So when you open the neck area, the circle, energy circle flows. Clean, 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 clean. Hey, hong hong ah, si wong yo. Hey, hong hong ah, si wong yo. Ah, this is a very secret. The cold. Ah, I, I is it like cosmic cold. orbit? Is it uh, like the cosmic orbit? Ah, uh, this is a fr is a from front side oh, goes from front up and, and not back. Okay. Uh, no, but, yeah, okay. front side go up, back side go down. Ah, uh, Sonia, this is a secret the path for healing, but the for, for rejuvenation is the back side up, front side down. Ah, uh, I, right. I explain it all clear with the healing field. This is ancient wisdom. Millions of people are searching for this ancient secret. I know. I almost forgot that I'm doing the radio show <laughs> 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 because I'm I'm so caught up in 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 this because I I have such an incredible um, curiosity and I think a thirst to understand even more about the movement of of chi and of really pulling in um, this invisible you know energy source to continue to recharge the body to recharge my own body and obviously consciousness consciousness awareness anyway there's just so much there so i thank you for for explaining all of that and and i am so well i'm actually very thrilled that i decided to um to to record it to video it because i wasn't going to video it so when people see me in this video i'm i'm very plain in this video but i think that it was a great idea that uh something allowed me to to record it because the people who are watching or listening on the radio will be able to see uh some of what you did on the board so this was very very important so what what um would you say if somebody wants to attend a workshop that you're having or uh courses online um what what's there now for uh say a beginner um that's being offered by your um uh, center thank you so much uh and uh facebook live every monday uh, i do afternoon i do one hour program so Tuesday, one of my top teacher teach Tao healing hand, which means I create healers. Just uh, last week, I have 1,700 people from all around the world wow. and join my heal, healer. Just so like this, people watching me, I, I taught 1,700 people to become a healer. I've created about near 10,000 healer worldwide. I give one example, doctor of psychology, so Dr. Monique, her sister killed herself and she stopped her job. She learned uh, psychology because she wanted to find a solution. So after psychology, she found out she could still could not deal too much with depression, anxiety, and also suicidal because uh, and she focused on the mind level. The depression, anxiety, suicidal is a soul level information. She become the healer we call Dao Han. Every Tuesday, I have afternoon one hour show with my top, top teacher, Healing Hand to create healers. So at uh, Wednesday, we have so ready, you know, people, oh, why, uh, you know, challenge with husband, wife, why challenge with the children, why challenge with my finance, why I'm so sick. So we do a soul reading. I to tell you what is exactly the reason. So people love the spiritual channel. So I have different program, drshot.com. We create a healer. We have uh, more than 10 centers. So people can feel Dr. Calligraphy. On this month, so 15, I will do one hour uh, Dao Light Massage, one hour free service. There are so many people join with me. Let me serve you more. Thank you, Sonia. Oh, that's awesome. Now, um, 
there is something that I really wanted to also talk to you about because you 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 do speak about this, and I think this is very huge for a lot of people, and it's forgiveness. Um, I think that I'd love to have you uh, address that. We talk about fear, and we you know we that's all part of fear. But I think forgiveness um, for a lot of people is is sort of sometimes a difficult one, and it and it 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 creates blockages like all other low frequency um, emotions. But can you talk about forgiveness a bit? Yeah, I'm delighted. Uh, I want to share uh, <clears throat> millions of people believe a past life. Millions of people are not. Uh, why Sonia bring the uh, forgiveness? People feel so difficult to forgive but the people may not know the reason of the challenges. For example, some people make you upset. Some people make you sad. Uh, whatever the emotional issue, but you say, okay, this is a person wrong. This is a person abuse me, fight with me, making me feel very, uh, very awful feeling. But the people may not think about it. Why these people make you angry, make you sad? It's a probably you did something wrong to that person in a past life. If you know that knowledge, if you do not believe, let's let it go. Uh, but I'm sharing the wisdom. So you are hurting, maybe you heard that one before this life, or maybe even uh, in a past life. So therefore, it's a back and forth. I heard you, you heard me. I heard you, heard me. For example, husband and wife. Some is a, some husband and wife are very loving, harmony. Some husband and wife are fighting, fighting uh, for so much because they do not know they were they were together many lifetimes. This life I heard you, next time you heard me, I heard you back again, just back and forth. Only solution, greatest forgiveness. I forgive you, you forgive me, bring love, peace, harmony. I have the song. Greatest forgiveness. I forgive you. You forgive me. Bring love, peace, and harmony. <laughs> Just <laughs> forgive, let it go. Yeah, yeah. It's that letting go thing, though. <laughs> People have a hard time with. And you know what? What is interesting is that when we don't let these things go. And you talk about relationship, maybe husband and wife fighting, but sometimes people will leave one relationship and they continue to go into the same kind of relationship, I guess, until maybe they wake up to realizing <laughs> you must let it go. <laughs> you don't let it go, yeah, you, you keep right. finding new yeah, people. It's very, yeah, yeah, it's very <laughs> difficult to let it go, but in order to really solve the condition, let it go. That is a final solution. Because if you if you stuck on something, make you upset, you're always in that negative feel. You fool, let it go. Why? You are free. You are free, truly free. So this is a simple word, vital wisdom and a practice that your life will be different. I forgive you, you forgive me. Unconditional forgiveness. That's a secret. Yes, and it and and you feel lighter. I mean, the weight is gone because it's such a weight because you're all tensed and locked up with the things that we're holding on to. But then when you can let go, you know, and 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 many well, I've experienced um, some of that just letting go, just being able to move forward, and you feel so much lighter. I think some you even look different. You know, you can see it on your your face as opposed to when you're holding everything in. So very perfect, <laughs> perfect, exactly. <laughs> oh my goodness! So we're getting close to um, our uh, end of the show. Is there anything else that you would like to share or give or advice or anything else? You've said a lot, but anything else that we may not have talked about? In one sentence, heal, transform the heart and the soul first. Than the heart, than the health, relationship, finance, everything can follow. Uh, how can you transform our heart so let it go? Do not uh, stuck 
in the low frequency emotions blockages you just let it go forgive unconditional forgiveness unconditional love and the compassion that you are free you are transformed very fast no oh, my goodness so simple once again but the, we have such an addiction to holding on but you know <laughs> when you when you want to let go of the of the addiction then you let it go so <laughs> that's that's the simplicity of that uh so anyway all right so we're we're about there um you gave out your website can you give that out again please my Just website is uh, dr shah uh drsha dot com and i have a facebook live show every monday tuesday wednesday join with me and many workshops many practices uh welcome you thank you uh thank you so much master shah for being on the expansion zone it was really a, a truly a pleasure and i certainly could talk to you for two hours because it's it's <laughs> <laughs> it's very invigorating, very stimulating. Uh, and so I thank you so much for that. And I know my audience thanks you too. Well, uh, all right, good people, we are there. But I'm going to take this minute just to remind you of a couple of things. Um, I have a uh, what what's called Reality Wednesday. Every month, uh, we do a free teleconference, Reality Wednesdays, and we sort of get together and discuss transformative topics. So uh, you can go to uh, my website, therealsoniabarrett.com, and sign up for the newsletter and participate in that. And I also do uh, the expansion portal, which is also once a month for members, where we discuss uh, mind-bending, stimulating conversations about the nature of reality and all sorts of evolutionary possibilities. So visit therealsoniabarrett.com to learn more about um, either either one and and perhaps participate. So I'd love to have you. All right. So again, we're at the end of the show. So thank you, my listening audience. Thank you to my guest, uh, Master Shah, and um, to our engineer. So visit therealsoniabarrett.com, visit theexpansionzone.com for the archive of this show and other shows. And remember, I did record this so you can go and watch the video uh, as well to see a lot of what was, dis you know, what was described uh, as, as the, uh, Master Shah was speaking. Uh, visit the YouTube channel as well for all the other shows that are also posted there. And as always, remember, to live life to its fullest and question everything. Until next time, see you then.